to brunch with Mendaki. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our guest of honor, Associate Professor Muhammad Faisal Ibrahim, Parliamentary Secretary for the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Transport and Member of Parliament for Nisun GRC. Allow me to invite Mr. Faisal Salim to perform for us on his guta. He is going to perform Move Like Jagger for us. So far, this has been to uh, like uh, China twice, and I was among the first Singaporeans to be invited to perform solo in China. Then, uh, thank you. And um, I went to Sumatra, uh, and for the past two years, I've been traveling to Amsterdam to perform solo there. May I now call upon Associate Professor Fashal Ibrahim to give us his opening address? Over the years, we see Malays excelling in various fields, such as academics, sports, culture and many more. I'm very encouraged to see that as a community, we are continually exploring different areas. I would like to invite Ms. Julina Sulaiman, the Education Manager at Yayasan Mendaki, to share with us on the post-secondary educational pathways. As you can see, uh, what I'll be sharing with you before we go into the pathways will be on the job market. Okay, why am I going to share with you about the job market? Because in two, three or five years time, you will be entering the job market. You need to know what are the skill sets that people are looking for, especially here in Singapore. Now, I would like to call upon Mr. Johan Johari, a Senior Executive Officer from Mendaki's Youth Development Department, who will share with us Mendaki's very own talent development initiatives. Uh, society now is gradually accepting uh, non-academic excellence, which means if uh, you're not too academically inclined or if you're mu musically inclined, uh, there are new, uh, uh, there's more acceptance for you now. We have three very talented young men who will share with us their journeys in pursuing and excelling in their interests in both academic and non-academic fields. First up, Mr. Adib Jalal, a formerly trained architect who is now a consultant at Shop House and Company. We also have Mr. Ridwan Yusof, Mandaki's very own project protege winner, who was mentored by the maestro Mr. Iskandar Mirza. And last but not least, we have Mr. Muhammad Farhan, Muhammad Fridaus, whose outstanding contribution and dedication in youth work has earned him the Stars of Shine Award in 2011, organized by the National Youth Council. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to post your questions to our panelists on phlife.at. When they mentioned the underground Mendaki, I was lucky enough to be one of the recipients at O-Level. But then after that, everything went downhill because I wasn't so smart after that. All right, so very honest one. So JC, I kind of struggled, uh, but somehow I still managed to, went to go to university. I studied architecture. Uh, I wasn't the smartest student in architecture school, uh, but I guess I was always the guy who was trying to do weird things. So I was running my own project and stuff. My name is Ridwan Yusof. Um, I just started on my career as a full-time musician, so uh, I'm nowhere big or <laughs> No way, uh, huge yet. So basically, uh, uh, after secondary school, I decided to, uh, I cannot go into any um, polytechnic or uh, my, my results was really bad. So I decided to do music full time. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Farhan Ferdaus. Uh, I feel a bit pressured because I'm supposed to, my angle is more academic, um, and, and I think it's quite challenging for me to do that. Um, but I think just a, a little introduction about myself. Um, I was from a neighborhood school, primary school, secondary school, and then after which I went into the ITEs, uh, Institute of Technical Education, and then went on to the poly, and then uh, currently I'm in the university in my fourth year, and I'll be graduating very soon. I'm currently reading political science. Mr. Adib Jalal, Mr. Mr. Ridwan Yusof and Mr. Muhammad Farhan, Muhammad Fridaus. Thank you so much, you so much for being with us this morning.